the Chinese are offering financial relief and opportunities and then using that to influence governments in Europe and Africa. This type of influence is a security concern and it could be used to restrict access to key seaports and airport facilities while providing access to sensitive government and military information through the technology of state-owned and state-controlled enterprises. 六月二十六日，北约盟军联合部队司令部司令、美国海军欧洲和非洲战区司令福格上将在英国国际战略研究所的网络研讨会上表示，中共的扩张已经从印太地区延伸到非洲、欧洲和北极。中共的一带路将其经济、外交、军事和政治手段相结合，试图改变国际秩序。NATO can no longer ignore China's activities in Europe. Things like、uh, 5G, the Trojan horse. Buying of port infrastructure and the One Belt One Road Initiative, and for that matter, we can't ignore China's activities in Africa. 同时，中共在北极的扩张野心也被关注。China is also increasingly seeking to exploit the Arctic. They're eyeing investment opportunities that range from natural resource exploitation to the future commercial maritime traffic potential of the Polar Silk Road. With China having its own precedent for making bogus claims over international waterways in the South China Sea, it's possible that China will also seek to bend the rules in their favor in the Arctic. 福格上将表示，中共在非洲的做法和国际传统完全背离，向非洲国家提供财政援助和贷款机会，以设置债务陷阱。建设项目完全使用中国的劳工和设备，对地方经济没有任何帮助，是战狼式行为。I've been watching this closely in Africa, and we're seeing tremendous investments there, but on Chinese terms. They bring in their own support structure, their own workers. This is in complete contrast to how we do business. Yet the Chinese aren't focused on improving local economies. When the local governments can't pay back loans, they engage in debt warfare. These are the wolf warriors. Xinhong News, Liu Haiying, Zhonghe, Baodao.